I'm Eric Rosser, and I'm the proprietor of the Whitby Wireworks, and I'm here to give you a guided tour of the Whitby Wireworks collection. Let's start in the Egyptian gallery. And here's Tut, Tutankhamun, the boy pharaoh. This is one of the most complicated pieces in the collection, featuring brass wire and copper wire, colored copper wire and insulated copper wire wound together to create a cohesive whole. Moving along here is small Egyptian steel wire and same image done larger in a variety of wires. And finally Anubis, god of the underworld, and just taken uncorked a vial and releasing some magical fragrance. On to the animal gallery, and here's eagle and salmon going for dinner. Not so good for the salmon, although he might get away, fall into the water and become the stuff of legend. On to one for Billy Blake and uh, tiger, tiger, burning bright. Tiger, we have a lion. And this one from the front steps of the New York Public Library. His name is Patience. I understand he's now wearing, a, she's now wearing a mask. Here's a buffalo from a cave painting and a circle of edible herbivores from many years ago. And now onto the ladies' gallery, and here's Pati by Raphael. And we have Degas' Little Dancer. And another dancer, we have Jane of Real doing the Can Can. Thank you, Toulouse Lautrec. Here's St. Teresa on Ecstasy. And above her, Scarlett Johansson playing the girl with the pearl earring by Vermeer. And of course, Venus on the Half Shell by Botticelli. Early erotica for young Medicis. Oh, woman on board ship, tossing in the waves, Lake Colville. And a collection of monas. Here's Mona Gold. And Mona Black. And Mona who's just got a smile. And then here's the uh, American Gothic by Grant Wood, and The Cook Kiss, a famous photograph by Robert Duchamp. Entering the LGBTQ gallery, starting with a portrait, self-portrait by Francis Bacon, and his portrait of Lucian Freud. Lucian's not looking so good, although colorful. Here is Mapplethorpian Man, which reminds me of Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, although looking at the world from a somewhat different perspective. Here is Adam in a languorous pose, saying yo to the thinker. Thinker saying, don't even think it, buddy. But then maybe he's having second thoughts. Hmm. Here's a self-portrait by Michelangelo, <clears throat> excuse me, as the flayed Saint Bartholomew, with hanging skin and a look of anguish. 
inside him the ancient Roman sculpture of the discus thrower. And then we leap numerous centuries to the uh, graffiti street artist, performance artist, Banksy. I thought his signature was one of his most iconic productions, spray painted all over London, so I made a mobile and an immobile of his name. And also an earring. Yes. Lovely. And here is a deconstructed version of Jasper John's flag painting uh, depicting the state of the American psyche at this point. Moving on, we have Cezanne's card players occupying themselves during lockdown. And here's Vinnie Van Gogh. Vinnie, what happened to your ear? Yikes. The collection of Picasso-esque masks and besides them, the man himself dressed up to go to the opera. And a reappearance by Francis Bacon, fittingly looking over Picasso's shoulder, this time in just steel wire. And here's Andy, Andy Warhol. And Andy's iconic Campbell's soup can. It's the only piece with an actual backing because it was somewhat hard to read the wire. Tomato soup. And looking down on the whole proceedings, we have Rembrandt. I don't know if he approves. And lastly, a portrait of my late father, who was an artist in his own right. That's it for the tour. I'd like to thank you all for coming on this tour of the Whitby Wireworks. <laughs>